Another day, another races, everybody. This is a British Airways stewardess that just lost her job because she went out on Snapchat and did a rant against Nigerian passengers. After a two hour meeting with her boss, she tries to claim it was a joke. You know, I, I don't know too many people of color that are doubled over from racist jokes told by white people. In fact, I haven't met any. And to take that a step further, I haven't heard one of your jokes that even is remotely funny. You're just unfunny people. That's why you have to be entertained. <laughs> All right. British Airways today sacked a stewardess who posted a racist Snapchat rant against Nigerian passengers after she was called in for a two hour meeting with bosses. Joanne Wickenden sparked outrage after recording the racist clip in her BA uniform. So she works for British, she used to work for British Airways. Uh, flying from London Heathrow to Abuja on Friday night. In a statement today, the airline said she no longer works for British Airways, adding, we expect the utmost professionalism from our staff when they are representing British Airways. The 23-year-old who wants to be an actress told friends I am not racist and claimed the sickening video was just a joke. She told Mail Online, I have been framed by another British Airways employee. So I guess they forced you to do this racist video, huh? These people never take responsibility for anything. But let's go ahead and listen to this lame ass video. I'm here, getting ready to go to work, put on a yellow life jacket, point out the exits, hand out chicken or beef. What sort of Friday night is this for me? The upside is I'm going to Nigeria and there's going to be bare BBC. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> All the Nigerians are going to be there like, give me Coca-Cola, give me beef. Why you have no beef left? I want beef. And I'm just going to be there like, sorry, sorry, we ran out of beef. <laughs> All the Nigerians, they're all going to be there asking for upgrades because I haven't got enough leg room because all their BBCs are in their way. <laughs> Big like right there, swinging from side to side. <laughs> they're all going to be Okay, so like most white women, she's obsessed with a big black cock. You, you heard how she was talking, right? She's obsessed with the size of a black man's dick. <laughs> okay, she's like your typical racist obsessed with black people. And then when we point this out about them, what do they do? Deny it. Oh no, uh, we ain't obsessed with you. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And always have been. And that's a big problem. And the bottom line is, I doubt if any Nigerian has put one single video out obsessing over her. So you see what's out here. It's typical. We see this no matter where these folks are in the world. This is just how they are. There is no getting along with devils. This is just the way it is. And they like it this way too. If they didn't like all of this racism, they would not continue to perpetuate it, all right? And she just harped on and on. All Nigerians are going to be there asking for fucking upgrades because they haven't enough leg room because of their big black cocks are in their way. Big dick like this swinging from side to side. No, that's what she likes. She's like your typical white woman obsessed with getting black dick. That's why she kept talking about it. A lot of white women are like that. You can deny it all you want. It's the damn truth. You, you have a hate for black people, but you sure don't mind laying down with the black man. Seen it way too many times in my life. And she is just your standard run-of-the-mill white hoe obsessed with black men. That's why she, all she referred to was their big black dicks. 
Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And if you can, um, make a donation to my channel, please do. Peace, family.